Hi, Dr. Goldberg here, continuing our infectious disease lecture series. Today we're talking about hydroadenitis suppurativa. Um, I see a lot of people with this disease. It often doesn't get diagnosed, unfortunately, uh, till years later. <clears throat> this is a disease of the apocrine sweat glands, the sweat glands that give human beings body odor. Usually starts at puberty. Uh, it's more commonly seen in females. It's an inherited condition. There's no question about it that we see this in families. We'll see it in sisters and then their parents or their mom had it or an aunt, grandma, you know, that type of thing. This is an awful inflammatory condition uh, where the apocrine sweat glands, which are in the axilla, under the breasts, uh, in the groin, mons pubis area, uh, and uh, in the uh, rectal area, the pararectal area, or buttock, uh, can become infected when they get inflamed. And so <clears throat> there's a two-pronged approach with it. Not only do we have to treat the infection, but we, if we keep the hydriadenitis uh, under control with appropriate anti-inflammatory medication, the patient will not get infected. So this is one of the mistakes that I see uh, physicians and healthcare pro providers do they don't treat both aspects. They just treat infection. They don't, they don't treat the inflammatory condition itself. And the patient ends up going to surgeons and have multiple INDs. And of course, there are you know, plastic surgeons that will remove people's uh, apocrine sweat glands in order to treat this problem. Uh, that's how serious it can get. So um, as I said, it's an inherited tendency. Uh, if we treat the inflammation of the glands with anti-androgens such as estrogen, spironolactone, or finasteride, these are all uh, effective agents, uh, no question about it. Other things that we can use are immunosuppressives. So we can use steroids. We can either uh, a parenteral or inject into the area, or we can use oral. Methotrexate has been used, and even cyclosporin has been used to a significant benefit. In terms of the infection, well, we will culture the purulent drainage. That's helpful because sometimes we'll find these people are carrying MRSA. But if it's empiric, uh, topical clindamycin, oral meds like tetracyclines, dapsone, uh, amoxicillin, clavulinate, uh, and there's other agents such as Cipro that can be utilized as well, depending on what grows from the cultures. Um, surgical debridement is reserved for deeper disease, but sometimes is obviously required to remove necrotic tissue or purulent abscesses. So this is just a, a, a summary on hydriadenitis suppurativa. Please be aware of it as you treat uh, patients with uh, uh, diseases that are affecting the axilla, under the breasts, or in the groin. Thanks, Dr. Goldberg, signing